example in this arena of Zoom in a mighty name of the Holy Spirit, take preeminence. Lord, take preeminence. Holy Spirit, have your way in the name of Jesus. Daddy, as we have gathered on the team encounter, may we have a counter with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Baba, love for every family represented here. Baba will say, take the glory, O God, in the name of Jesus. Let your word come undiluted, O God. Let it become a seed unto our soul in Jesus' name. As we declare this seminar and Bible study open in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you very Amen. much. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Every living soul shout hallelujah. If you are a living soul, why not shout hallelujah to the almighty God? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Our assembly today, it's not by our minds. Neither mm. is it by our power or mm. by orchestration of men, mm. but rather it is by the works of the Holy Spirit. It mm. is the, 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 the structure of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. If you know that the meeting today is ordained by God, why not lift up your voice and shout hallelujah to the Almighty Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Men ought to rejoice in the Lord. Yes. In my soul, we praise the Lord, and my spirit, we praise his holy name. My spirit, we worship his holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. Please Amen. let us be always in the mood of worship, always in the mood of praise. Hallelujah. He said, I will enter his gate with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord God has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. For he has made us glad, and we are so glad, and indeed we will ever and forever rejoice in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The next on our agenda will be the praise and worship, for we all are to, all to rejoice in the Lord. He said, rejoice in the Lord, and I say again, Rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll be calling on our dear minister, Minister Mrs. Peace or, or Narino, to lead us in a series of worship and praise. Ma, you have 15 minutes for the praise and worship. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. Amen. God is good. All the time. Amen. Amen. God bless Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Let us worship him. Let us give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. The throne is higher up over the throne. Your kingdom established above all mm. kingdom. Yes, Lord. Your kingdom established above kingdom. You reign continually over the earth. And you stand on a people equal. Abba, the son of Maya. King of all. You reign on. You reign on. You reign on. You reign on. Praises we never go down. Thank you, Jesus. Your praises we go higher continuously. Yes, Lord. I'll create short power in mm. your presence. You mm. are gone above all. He put it King 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Lord, thank you, Holy Name. Yes, thank you. Mighty name we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to give God a praise? Yes, yes, yes. God free this evening. Oh. Deserve our praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You are the living come though. There's no one like you. Hallelujah. Come on. Clap for Jesus. Amen. You are the living God. So 
Tune to be among the living souls. Mm. If it is not a privilege, how much did you pay or mm. how much did it cost you to be elected among the living souls? Mm. So if you know it's a privilege to be among the living soul, why not praise the Lord now? Lead Hallelujah. Praise I the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Indeed, he is a wonderful God. Indeed, he is a marvel of God. Mm. For he has worked and done all he promised. In mm. my life, he has fulfilled it. In your life, and I believe he has fulfilled it as well. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Without time, we'll call on the vision bearer of the platform or of this ministry to give us a word or two concerning the vision of this ministry. For the benefit of those that are joining us for the first time and watching us online on our social platform, we'll call now on our dear minister, Minister Pat. Please let us put a hand of applause for her as we ushered in, are in to give us our, the vision statement concerning the platform. God bless you, ma, and you have five minutes for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. So I want everyone to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. I'm so excited. I give glory to God for the grace of God that have sustained every one of us to see the last day of the month of October. Mm. I'm so excited and I sincerely appreciate every one of you that have took our time to be with us this evening. May God Almighty bless you all in Jesus' name. As you mm. all know, 
this is international call for prayer. Know God by yourself. This is our motto. This is the mandate that God has given to me. And I give glory to God for those that God has assigned to join me to push out this, this vision. Know God by yourself. It is when you know God by yourself that you will be able to answer the question of this present generation. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of 1 Peter 3.15, it said we should be ready to give answer to any man every time. We should be ready to give answer to them by the time they ask us the question, the secret of our hope. So if you don't know God by yourself, it will come to a time in your life that you will have a double standard. May that not be our portion in Jesus' name. So by the grace of God in this platform, we encourage everyone to know God by his or herself. We have been reading the Bible. We have been told about Jesus. But by the time you come to know him personally, this one is personal, you know him. By that time, nobody can deceive you. Nobody can describe him to you. That's exactly what happened. You see the book of Genesis 22. If you read 7 to 8, when Isaac asks his father, where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Because Abraham knew God by himself. That is the reason he was able to answer the question that his son asked him. He told his son, he said, God shall provide. Physically, there was nothing. But spiritually, he knows that there is already something that God has projected. So when you know God by yourself, you'll be able to stand. When you know God by yourself, you'll be able to represent God. It is because Job knew God by himself. That is why he was able to stand in the day of affliction. If you read the book of Job, you will see that that when Job was afflicted, everything that he had, he lost it. But because he knew God by himself, that is the reason why he was able to stand. So I encourage everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice, take her time to, to, have, to have time with God, to have personal relationship with God. He helps a lot. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, this is what we do every month. We have monthly general Bible study where we come together to study deeply more of God's word. And by the grace of God, there will be testimony everywhere. I encourage you, please, whenever our, our link comes to you, help us to share it because our joy is to see everyone get to the stage to know this God personally so that we can represent God here on earth. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much, Ma. That was brief and wonderful. Amen. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much, Ma. God bless you. As we all Amen. know, Bambiera has given us the vision statement concerning the platform. So let us walk and run with it. Let us run with it. They say, write down the vision so that those who read will run according also with it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The time that we are waiting for has arrived, and that is hearing of the word. They say, faith cometh by hearing, and that is hearing of the message of Christ. Mm -hmm. Time has arrived. Before we call on the speaker or the guest speaker that is, give, that is going to give us the message today, there is one thing I would like us to know and note as we are taking up our picking up our pens and also our notes. Because we'll be taking a lot of notes today. There is one thing I would like us to take note of and also be aware of. All darkness of this world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. Hmm. All darkness of this world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. So therefore, what am I saying? Run while you have the light of life. Mm -hmm. Run while you have the light of life. And the light is Christ Jesus. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. The word will be coming from a man of God today. He's no other person but our dear apostle, E.A. Pizaretin. Please let's put a hand of applause for him as he mounts the podium to give us the word of God. Hallelujah. Let us give a hand of applause. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I particularly want to appreciate every one of you here. And uh, I want to appreciate the vision bearer and uh, my God's grace. I've been enjoying uh, the moderation as well by God's servant. And uh, worship, what would I say, was constant and wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, please, can we celebrate them? Can we celebrate them? Let's celebrate the vision bearer. Let's celebrate the moderator and let's celebrate the wonderful woman of God who happened to be a wife to my own in law. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, can we just lift up our voice and give him praise? Amen. Let's give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Let's exalt him. Thank you, Jesus. I keep telling people that God is in everywhere, but you meet with him somewhere. Thank you, Jesus. This must be the program that you would meet with God. Some God. met him at the crusade. Some met him in the street. Some met him even in their toilet. Yes. Some yes. met him on their bed. Thank Some you. met him on social media. Mm. Uh, this can be a program uh, that will connect God to you. This can be the program that will rearrange your destiny. Come on, lift up your voice. Yeah, Exalt him. Jesus. song of your choice to worship this God. Many saw the first day of October, but today they are no more alive. Yes. Many witnessed the first day of this month with their two eyes, but today they can no longer see. Mm. Many witnessed the first day of this month with their two legs. Mm. Today they are no more grudges. Yes. Many witnessed the first day of this month Use it to worship him, use it to give him praise. Yes. Use it to exalt his name. Mm. Yes, it's not like him. Take of your choice. Don't listen to the one your neighbor is singing. My if you want to worship him, you 
Jesus. We bless you. We bless your name. We worship you. King of glory, feel us, oh God, tonight. Feel us and let our company feel, oh God. Possess us in the present mighty tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name. You you are worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Please hear us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we worship. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. The network is, is bad. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why not you lift up your voice and thank him? Thank you, Jesus, for a wonderful day like this. Oh, Tala, 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 I Thank you, my Lord and my Savior. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. I just want us to quickly commit the network in the house of God. Yes, Lord. Amen. I just want to say, Lord, commit the network into your hands. Faithful Father, I am that I am. Lord, we commit the network into your hands, oh God. Father, we commit this network into the Lord, you will take control. You will have Thank you, Lord, because I know you've taken charge. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. 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 Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One more time. Wonderful opportunity. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you? Today, by God's grace, I want us to look at two things that happen when God, or two purpose why God visits men. Mm -hmm. Two purpose why God visit men. 
I understand that God does not just visit a man. Mm. Another word for a counter for a counter is God arranging appointments to meet with man. That's God's appointments mm. to meet with people. I also want you to understand mm. it is God that determines whether a man will meet with him or not. Mm -hmm. ah, it is God that determines mm. whether you will know him, whether you will meet with him or not. Mm -hmm. I discovered that in First Samuel chapter 28, I think um, if you read, I think from verse six down, Saul wanted to meet with God. He prayed, he did all he knows how to do, but God did not respond. Mm. That means it's God that determines whether you will meet with him or not. Mm. But I also want you to understand that when God make up his mind to meet with you, you can't escape it. Mm. When God arranged the appointment, in other words, you can arrange an appointment to meet with God and you will not see God. Mm. But when God makes an arrangement to meet with you, you can't escape it. That's it. It's whether you like it or not. So tonight, I'm going to be speaking on what I title, Prepare to Meet with the God. Mm. Prepare to meet with your God. That is another word for an encounter, meeting with God. Prepare to meet with God. Uh, quickly, let's go to Amos chapter 4. Amos chapter 4. I'm going to be reading from verse 11 to verse 13. Oh. I overthrew some of you as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And you were as a brand brought out of the burning fire. Yet you did not return to me, declared the Lord. Verse 12, therefore, thus I will do to you, O Israel, because I will do this to you. Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. God was arranging a meeting here, telling Israel, just the same way he's speaking to us today. He said, prepare to meet with your God, O Israel. Uh, in the task above, God feast an appointment for the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. He feasts an appointment with the children of Israel. I want you to understand that men are met with God under different conditions of appointments. Men have met with God under different condition of appointments. I want to quickly ask, under which condition do you think God will meet with you if God make up his mind to meet with you today? Uh, Lord, help me tonight. God is an appointment in his own sovereignty will. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand. In his own sovereignty will, just like when Moses was not expecting to meet God in the burning bush, God just sees the appointments. Paul was not expecting to meet with God on his way to Damascus. But God just sees the meeting. But however, in my writing, I said, ah, oh, Jesus. Men do things that deserve the kind of appointment he faces. 
men do things that deserve the kind of appointment he faces. It's two things here. He can arrange an appointment for you at his own will. But your character can also deserve an appointment. Mm -hmm. mm. Your attitude, mm. the way you live, can also deserve an appointment he faces. Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, in Acts chapter 10, from 1 to 5, The Bible says about Cornelius, a man that feared God, a man that prayed, and a man that did to the poor. Mm. This was the attitude of Cornelius. Mm -hmm. He was a man that feared God. Don't forget that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. A man that feared God, a man that prays. Mm -hmm. A man that gives. Mm -hmm. And once he had the encounter with angel, the Bible said the angel said, your prayers and your arms have come before God. In other words, it was your, your, your character that deserved this encounter. Hallelujah. It was by your attitude this encounter came. Mm -hmm. It was your attitude that attracted this encounter. Mm -hmm. So your arms, your prayers have come before God. Mm -hmm. And another person I also want to mention was Zacchaeus. Mm -hmm. You know, in Luke chapter 19 from 1 to verse 6, the Bible said, as soon as Jesus entered a certain place, this man, hearing that Jesus was in town, he climbed a tree just to see Jesus. As soon as Jesus lifted up his eyes and saw Zacchaeus, he said, Zacchaeus, <laughs> I will visit you today. Salvation as entering into your life. Amen. Jesus visited Zacchaeus as a result of his attitude. As a result of his attitude. Remember, I said, prepare to meet your God. That means whatever you are doing now is attracting an encounter. Whatever you are doing now is attracting encounter. That worship is attracting encounter or not to you. That prayers that you always woke up to pray at night is attracting encounter. Mm -hmm. That fasting is attracting encounter. Don't forget, I told you that there are different kind of encounters. There are, in my first message, I said there is a counter for salvation, mm -hmm. which I told you that Paul had in Acts chapter 9. Mm -hmm. I also said there is an encounter for instruction. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit guiding you now. Mm -hmm. And I also said there is an encounter for power. And I also want you to understand this, that these two persons I just mentioned demonstrated an attitude that God could not resist. He just had to show up. There is a point this your prayer life will get to. Heaven will be open for you to meet with your God. Yeah. I discovered something. Ah, help me, God. There are some who will meet with God while they are yet alive. Mm -hmm. Even when they die, they will still meet with Him. Mm -hmm. But there are some that will meet with God 
and it will just be dead. Hmm. It is dead that will make them meet with their maker. But as the, the messages, as you progress it, we we'll be understand these things. Ah, uh, I want you to understand. Like I said before, appointment with God is what you cannot escape. Mm -hmm. In First Samuel chapter twenty-eight, eighteen and nineteen, Saul was told that he is going to meet with God. Yeah. In Acts chapter 12, Peter and Herod had an encounter with angels, mm -hmm. but it was two reactions. Mm -hmm. Peter encountered with an angel, opened the prison door for him to come out. Mm -hmm. But Herod encounter with the angel leads to his death. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand that in this encounter, some meet with God for promotion. Mm -hmm. Some meet with God for their destruction. Mm -hmm. mm. Help me, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. While I was on this message, I started receiving some things. I discover that we all we meet with God, but with different experience. Mm -hmm. With different experience. A prostitute we meet with God with different experience. A Christian we meet with God with different experience. I want us to understand just the same way I said, Colinius and Zacchaeus had an encounter with God based on their character. The encounter was positive. Datan and Abera had an encounter also in Nobas chapter 16. The encounter was negative. The Bible said the ground opened and swallowed them. Hmm. I'd like you to know that that pornography that after you finish watching it, your heart will tell you, who am I doing this? It's attracting an encounter. Hmm. That lie that you always enjoy telling others is attracting encounter. Mm -hmm. That stealing that you have make up your mind to engage in is attracting encounter. Mm -hmm. That pride in you that no one can ever correct you, you feel you know it all, is attracting encounter. Mm -hmm. I also want you to understand that bitter heart that when people wronged you, no matter the, 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 the plea for forgiveness, when your heart says yes, it says yes. When he says no, he says no. Nothing can change it. It's attracting a counter. Mm -hmm. It's attracting a counter. I want to, in a way, go deeper in this realm. So that we as a Christian, because don't forget that judgment will begin from the house of God. Mm -hmm. You know, at God's grace, I was speaking to some persons. I said, invitation in Benin now, permit me to say this. It's scary to me. I said, because for a few times now, churches I go, I discover some strange things. People are raging with outsiders to ask miracles. People are raging prophecies. I want you to understand. 
that when Jesus was saying on that last day, some will say, I cast out demons in your name. Mm -hmm. And they will say, no, I know you not. You work out of iniquity. I want you to understand that it's an encounter. In other words, they will meet with me. They will tell me what they have done with my name. I will tell them, I know you know. We all, we experience, or we all will meet with God. God was speaking to Israel. He said, your life, if you read it from verse one, you will understand that they were living a sinful life. And when God kept giving them a warning sign, he now said, don't worry, prepare to meet with your God. Mm -hmm. Prepare to meet with your God. Prepare to meet with your God. This is an, another kind of encounter. When men will not be able to deny all their atrocity, is another kind of encounter. Herod mm -hmm. had encounter with angel, but his own led to death. I also want you to understand in Daniel chapter five, if you read it down to, uh, to 27, from one to 27, Bestesa also had an encounter he saw a hand reading something on the wall. Mene, mene, take a It was an encounter. It was an encounter. It was an encounter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you to understand that there are three things about encounter. One, a counter is for a time. Mm -hmm. mm. It is God that arranged the time. Mm. You are not the one. Nobody knows the day he will die. Mm -hmm. It is God that arranges it. That was why Jesus, when he was given the parable about the rich fool, he said that evening, the man said, oh, I will do this, I will do this. Or not to him, there was already an encounter for him to meet his, with his maker that very night. Mm -hmm. Encounter. All the men that has met with God, you will hear them say, on so, so, so day, on so, so, so time, I met with God. Encounter is for a time. And it is God that programmed the time. Mm -hmm. mm. It is God. Then number two, there is a place for an encounter. It is God that also determined the place for an encounter. Mm -hmm. The fact that you met God in church does not mean your sister will meet God in church. Mm -hmm. Moses met God in the bonny bush. Mm -hmm. Samuel met God in the temple. Mm -hmm. Paul met God on his way to Damascus. Mm -hmm. You can meet God anywhere. Mm -hmm. A particular place he has designed for you to meet him. Mm -hmm. There is a particular place. To you, that place might not be a place of encounter, but if it's right with God, you have no choice. Mm -hmm. I've heard of story of how people had an encounter with the Holy Spirit in their toilet. They started speaking in tongues mm -hmm. in their toilets. Who would thought that God will meet with men in toilet? Mm. I've heard a story of how people met with God inside a vehicle. Mm -hmm. There is a particular place that God has arranged to meet with people. But my question is, the character you are possessing now, what aspect of encounter is he attracting? What aspect of encounter is he attracting? What aspect? Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Another thing is that, the third one is that, whenever they have an encounter, there is always a turning point. Mm -hmm. A turning point. 
the account, the moment you meet with God on that particular time, in that particular place, there is always a turning point. Something always happens. Something always happens. Remember in Acts chapter 2, when the apostles met with God, they started speaking in different language. Peter became a bold servant of God. A fearful Peter was now addressing thousands. One who could not face a small girl was now facing thousands to preach the word. Mm -hmm. That is always. In the case of Zacchaeus, salvation entire is home. Mm -hmm. In the case of Colinius, he also received the Holy Spirit. In the case of Data and Abiram, the ground opened and swallowed them. There is always a tonic place. Something must happen. In the case of Bethesda, he was told that he saw his friend one thing. It was an encounter. In the case of Saul, in 1 Samuel chapter 28, he said, tomorrow you will meet with me. In the case of Herod, the Bible said after the encounter with angel, one started coming out of him. There is always a turning point in this kind of encounter. Mm -hmm. This is the encounter that your character attracts. The, the encounter your character attracts. So tonight, I want you to know this, that any attitude you are possessing now is attracting an encounter. Mm -hmm. Whether you look down on men, you value them or not, is attracting an encounter. It's attracting an encounter. God said to Colinius, just the same way he told Colinius, your arms and your request. So also, it will also test some persons. Your lies, your fornication, your adultery, that pornography has come before God. And that was what led to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. They had an encounter, but it was for their destruction. In Genesis chapter 6, when the... the when God used the water to destroy the earth, it was an encounter. And I also want you to know the rapture we are talking about is also an encounter. It's for a time. It's an encounter. Amos said, prepare to meet with the God. With that God. God can decide not to show up when you want him but you can never escape the appointment that God faced. Mm -hmm. I want to quickly say this, wherever you are under the sound of my voice, I want you to check your life. I want you to examine your life. I just want you to reflect on it. Mm -hmm. What are those secrets see? that you are not bold to tell people. What are the hidden things that people don't know about you? People may be celebrating you openly, but in secret, you know that there is a particular sin in your life. Mm. I want you to know this. If there is no repentance, it's also attracting an encounter. Mm -hmm. So quickly, I'd like us to lift up our voice. To say, God, I know I cannot escape meeting with you, mm -hmm. but let it not be on the negative aspects. Mm -hmm. Turn my life around. That was what David said. Wash mm -hmm. me thoroughly from my iniquity. Because David knew that ah, a time will come that he will meet with God. He can't escape it. 
Yeah, he said, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Mm. He said, wash me, I know I will be whole. Mm. I know I will be purified. Then mm. he discovered that there is no way he will escape meeting with God. There is no way he will escape meeting with God. Friends may not know the sin, your relation may not know, but he knows. David opened his mouth and confessed and said, You know, in sin, my mother conceived me. He said, Plot out, plot out my iniquity because I know I will meet with you. I know I will meet with you. Wherever you are, lift up your voice and talk to God. Lord, I know I cannot escape meeting with you. I know I cannot escape it. I know one day I will meet with you. Plot out every unrighteousness in my life. The encounter of God is two ways. Either he promotes you or it's on the other side and lift up your voice. I don't know that he this here that if God meets with you now, it will not be well with you. I want you to understand that I know I uh, uh, will not be accepted. I love the songs that Bini normally say, sing. Jesus. <laughs> Brother <laughs> 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 Jesus. 
Oh God, God, to you, moderator, because my time is over. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Why not lift up your voice to the Almighty God? Why not lift up your voice to the Almighty God? Why not tell me that you are not a Why not lift up your voice? Over to you, moderator, sir. I give you praise. Jesus, Your encounter is near. that encounter is not passing you by. Why not bring that body to him? Why not lift it up 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 to him? It is too heavy for you to carry. It is too heavy for you to carry. No, that's right. Today your struggles are over. Today your struggles are over. I am a dog. Today your struggles are over. Why not bring it up to him? Why not bring it up to him? Why not bring it up to him? I am a dog. You shall Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be Blessed be God. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Wonderful and precious name, we give thanks. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful and precious name, we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Let the living soul oh, in the house shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is a living soul in the house, why hey. not praise the Lord? Living soul, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Every living soul, every, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, praise the Lord. 
The man of God said, He said, One thing is sure when you encounter God, salvation is guaranteed. That's it. He says, Salvation is guaranteed, which is a form of life. And by the reason of today's encounter, your breakthrough is perfected in the name of Jesus. By the reason of this encounter today, breakthrough is made permanent in the name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every struggle that has been pushing you to encounter gives you breakthrough. Yes. Every obstacle, every point of limitation in your life, by this encounter, it is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. We honor your great name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, faith. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Everything you are believing God for. Hey, Calabos. By the reason of today's encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed Thank be you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You shall not fail in strength. Yes. You shall not fail in strength. Yes. You shall not fail in your service. In God. You shall not fail in strength. You shall not fail in your service to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be God Almighty. Amen. You Amen. shall finish well. Yes. You shall finish well. Amen. You shall finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, wonderful Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be our God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I believe we all are all blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are coming to the end or the closure of today's session. Mm. And we all know in the Bible study, or rather, there is no Bible study without questioning. At all. It is not me preaching. It is called Bible study that every one of us must study and participate to mm. ask questions pertaining the encounter, mm. pertaining the message we have heard. Hallelujah. Mm. The encounter. Amen. Please let us prepare our questions. Let us prepare our contributions. Let us prepare whatsoever 
that it was uncertainty concerning the message. That was uncertain concerning the message. Please let us prepare our question. The man of God is still on the podium. The man of God is still on the platform to answer our questions. Please let the question come in. Let the question come in. Hallelujah. And as you do so, may the Almighty God richly bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be free to bring up your questions. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be God. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. The question is, hallelujah. Man of God, how do we know that the encounter is really of God? That the encounter is really of God? Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle, I think I'll over to you, sir. You have a minute for the question. Thank you very much. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Any encounter that does not tally with the word of God mm. is not from God. That's it. Mm. What made the encounter from uh, an encounter from God is that he tallied with the word of God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. God will not tell you to go commit adultery. Hmm. Yes. God will not tell you to go and lie. Mm -hmm. God will not tell you to go and steal. Mm -hmm. A man once said he, he was caught in the act of adultery and they mm -hmm. asked him why. He said mm -hmm. it, it was a spirit that was speaking to him. That was mm -hmm. an but because the Bible condemns such acts, mm. no matter the counter you have, always know that the Bible is a standard. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. So it is the Bible that determines whether it's from God or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So by God's grace, the word of God is our standard. Mm. Hallelujah. So it is the word of God that confirm the word of God, the Holy Spirit, is what confirm whether the encounter is from God or not. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Hallelujah. Mm. Another question from the book of Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4, if we read from verse 9, mm. the Bible said, Jesus had an encounter with the devil. He was taken into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, which is an encounter. Yes. And yes. in the third statement the devil made, he said, jump down, jump down. He took him to the up and jumped down, jump down, confirming, saying, God will tell his angel to take care of you. Reading from the scriptures, how yes. do we identify this because this word was taken from the scriptures yes it was accurate from the scriptures god will tell his angel to take care of you they will catch you in your hands and you will not hurt your feet on the stone thank you very much sir a minute for the question okay i want you to understand that before that incident jesus had already gone through baptism and receive the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And by the ministration of the Holy Ghost, he was able to discern, oh, this one is scriptural, but it's yeah. not from the source. So you need the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to discern. That is why we have the spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. Some persons have entered a place that look like church as soon as they enter. It's church. 
Instantly, the spirit will tell them this is not the right place. Hmm. But then everybody sees it as church. It bears church. Mm -hmm. So it is the Holy Spirit. And these so pastors, these so called pastors, we call fake. They preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. How do we know that they are fake? But the discernment of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So, but that is why it is so important for everyone to have the Holy Spirit. You need it. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. We have all, we have heard it all. Thank you very much. Please let your question come, come in. Let your question come in. There is a question also from the house, sir. And I read, can a Christian know God by himself without encounter with God? Without an encounter with God. Thank you very much, sir, to you. You can know God by, okay, let me put it this way. The word of God is the best form of encounter in life. Mm -hmm. So the moment you study the word of God, you have encountered God. Mm. So you know, that was why when you were speaking about Luke chapter 4, it was the scripture Jesus used to rebuke the devil. Mm -hmm. So when, in order, before then, he already had an encounter with this word of God. Mm -hmm. So you can encounter God by yourself as soon as you make up your mind to start studying the word. Mm -hmm. mm. That was why Samuel says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the godly, nor seated in the sight of the scornful, nor seated in the way of sinner, but his delight is in the word of the is in the law of the Lord, and only does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Mm. So the moment you have this word, and in Joshua chapter one verse it says, "Let the book of this law not depart from the man thou shalt." Meditate on it day and night. The moment you have the word of God, you may not see vision, you may not see dream, but the word of God is the best encounter in life. Hallelujah. It's the best encounter. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please let the question come so, in. Quoted by those who is telling you that I see Jesus appear because you did not see him, you feel not relevant. Uh -uh. The word of God is the best form of encounter. Even Peter made reference to it. I've forgotten the verse now. He said, we saw him, even in the mountain of transfiguration. But the, there is a way he put it that even with that, this is the most sure world. Hmm. This is the most sure encounter. Hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Hallelujah. To you, Minister Semi. Ah, praise the Lord. Ah, my able apostle, God bless you so much. Indeed, this Bible study is an encounter. Believe you me. Praise the Lord. Uh, I was touched by what you said while you were preaching, and which I know very well. I'm aware of that. Uh, you, you were invited to some certain place, and uh, what you saw there, Oh, it's nothing to write to me about, as in the, the perversion of the gospel. Sir, you know, when God sent you there, for, uh, maybe in my behalf of this uh, Bible study today, I don't know, maybe a little bit off from where we are talking, we are deliberating on. Sir, uh, I know definitely as you live there, there is this burning desire in you that people in that place, they are lost. As a man of God, uh, what would you do Will you just abandon them like that? Or what will you do to save those souls that are there? And even the men of God that are doing this thing, since you have been invited to that place, you have a connection with them and you saw it. Well, will you just keep quiet and leave them or leave the world with them or try to do something? What will you do? I just want to know. Okay. Uh, I've come to discover that though we speak, 
is God that changes life. That's it. It's God that transforms life. I've called a man of God who we are discussing. I was trying to tell him this. One of them made a statement that the moment you enter into this kind of diabolic things, it's difficult for you to come out. So people like that, you have nothing to do than to intercede for them. That's it. Yes. And when you are opportune, if God permits you to go to a place like that, make sure you give them the right word. Yes. Do your best. Do your Thank best. You. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Semi, for the question, and also Apostle Saratin. Thank you for the wonderful response. Hallelujah. Man. Also, our next question from the house, it goes like this. Can the negative or positive lives of my parents cause me to have an encounter? Or can my positive life cause my children to have an encounter with God? Mm. So you, sir, Apostle Saratin. The negative life of your parents can make you have an encounter. Your positive life can also make you have an encounter. The reason why God appeared to Isaac was because of the positive life Abraham had with God. Yeah. We are all children of Abraham today by a reason of his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And don't also forget that Abraham was a son of Tara. I think Genesis 11 gave us those uh, history. Tara was not a born again man. Abraham had an encounter and God told him, leave your father's house. You can have an encounter with God because of the negative laughter of your parents, and God can use that encounter to bring you out of that uh, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And your own lifestyle can also, uh, not can also, we always make you to have encounter with God, whether you are living right or wrong. Whether you are living right or Anyhow, you live your life, there's always a place for an encounter. Hallelujah. That was why God said in that moment, prepare to meet the God. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. And also, would like to hear from the visionaire. You. What's your take on this question? To you, man, you have just a minute for the question. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Yes. If your parents live a negative life, that can make you have an encounter in a negative way. If you've not given your life to God, it can affect you. But by the time you give your life to God, then you can stand and know God by yourself. Those things might not be affecting you anymore. Be, depends on the relationship you have with God. So the same thing is they live a positive life. It can make you to have a positive encounter based on the seed that they have sowed. You can have an encounter with God based on this. That means like you can say the God of my, my mother. Hmm. Like the way I think we say the God of my father. So you can meet with, with God positively based on the foundation of your parents. So it is very, very pos uh, possible for you to have negative or positive encounter based on the past life of your parents. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much, ma. God bless you. That was wonderful. Hallelujah. According to what she said, he said, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, meaning the separation, the demarcation is placed. 
Thank you very much, man. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, more questions from the from the house. Is there any question from the house? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, please, the next question from the house, and that is, if one had an encounter and rejects the call, mm. and years later is not in alignment with the call he had, so is there any other encounter to place him in the right place? To you, Apostle Saitin, please. Hallelujah. Amen. The truth is that I want us to understand that encounter or the purpose of an encounter is for a time. Hmm. Just like I will say this now. The moment you ignore the call you had by the reason of encounter, you will still have another encounter. Mm. It might either be positive or negative, depends on your state of mind or attitude at that time. Mm -hmm. Remember, Jonah experienced something like this. Mm. He had an encounter to go and preach to the Nineveh. Mm -hmm. He refused. On that ship, be swallowed by the fish, it was also an encounter. Mm. Yeah. It was also an encounter. Mm. But to God be the glory, he was having second choice. God mm. gave him a second chance to deliver the message again. Yeah. The most fearful part is that Remember, God says, I will show mercy to those I will show mercy to and compassion on those I will show compassion to. Mm -hmm. Then Paul said, it's not of him that we let, not of him that run it, it's of the Lord that showed mercy. Mm -hmm. And not that I ignore the assignment he received via encounter and go away with it and have mm -hmm. another encounter that will shape on him again. But I'm not that person might not have that kind of opportunity. Exactly. I remember a case of a prophet who God spoke to one morning. He said, ah, tell the people nobody should go out that very day. Funny enough, at a bad night, this prophet who God gave this word, entered back and said he wanted to go and do one or two things. He had an accident and died. There was no yeah. second chance again. So if you've had an encounter and God has given you assignment, please, I beg you, I urge you, quickly go back on your knees. Ask for mercy. Tell God you are ready to embark on the journey now. Because we cannot tell how the next encounter will be. Yes. Totally agree. Hmm. I God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Another question from the house. He said, how can we reactivate the misused encounter? How can we reactivate the misused encounter? Wow. This one is wonderful. I will tell you this. The moment... You want to reactivate misuse encounter, mm. begin with the broken hearts. Mm. Remember, David said in Psalm 51, a broken mm. and a concrete heart, oh God, thou will not despise. Mm. Are you really sorry for misusing the encounter? Then the moment you are broken, Go back to the word of God. Pick the word of God. Study it. Study it. God will give you grace. God will open the doors again. God will empower you again. God will set you on that journey again. So the first thing is a broken heart. The second thing is to go back to the word of God. 
Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. As we heard, it is going back to the word of God because the word of God is also an encounter. Studying your Bible, studying the scriptures is also an encounter. How do you know it is an encounter? He said in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, he said the scripture is God breath, God breath to man. So studying your scriptures is also an encounter. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. We'll be coming to the closure of today's session. The questions in the house, please, we'll be taking them on Saturday to the platform so we can also address the questions. Hallelujah. Because of time, we'll be calling on the visioneer of the platform for a vote of time. Ma, you have five minutes, please, as he mouths the session. Let us put a hand, a hand of applause for her. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. It was so wholesome. I want to sincerely appreciate the great man of God that God used to feed us spiritually today. May God bless you and honor you, sir. Yeah. It's a privilege to have you <laughs> as my younger one. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. That was awesome. That was powerful. And I want to sincerely appreciate everyone once again for, for your patience to stay in this time. May God honor you all in Jesus' name. Quickly, I just want to tip in one or two things. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, by level 30, 30 p.m. this night is our crossover service. So for those of you who are on our platform, if you are free, you can join us in just 30 minutes. We are crossing over to the month of November by the special grace of God. At 3 a.m., we also have another declaration prayer. This time is not a time to sleep. The Bible says, may up always to pray and not to faint. As you do that, God will bless you all in Jesus' name. And please, by the special grace of God, next month, we will not be having monthly general Bible study, but rather, we'll be having a yearly revelational conference. The one we had did last year. For those of you who are with us, you will remember by the special grace of God, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be three days program and the flares will be out by the grace of God probably next week. Please, I encourage everyone, come and hear the revelation that God himself has showered upon us and I believe as you come, your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. And another thing, please, by the special grace of God, in the month of December, this is what God laid in our heart. We are going to be giving to the needy. If you are here hearing the sound of my voice and God touch your heart, you want to be part of it. You want to place food on the table of those that cannot afford anything. Please contact me. Let us do it together. And as you participate, God Almighty, we bless you all in Jesus' name. And I want to appreciate my honorable Apostle, Apostle Solomon. Thank you very, very much for being with us and every other person that I hear. If I cannot make sure your name, may God bless you. My wonderful, uh, my wonderful uh, moderator, that was powerful. Today I was born. Thank you very much. A big thanks to everyone. Lion Zion. God bless you. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I hand over to the moderator. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much, my God bless you. Wow, indeed, that was wonderful. That was great. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please, at this point in time, let us lift up our voice as we thank him for this day. Thank let us Jesus. thank him for this encounter. Let us thank him. Thank you, Father. Let us thank him for his worship. Oh, blessed be God. 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 Why not lift up your voice in the yes, one of thank you, Jesus. Touch him. To worship him. To call on him. To call him the God. The Yahweh, the Lord, 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 the Lord,
Bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. It has been a wonderful service in the presence of God. Glory be to God Almighty. Amen. For a new thing that He has begun in our lives. Amen. For divine encounter. To know more. For divine encounter. For spiritual upliftment, mm. glory be to God Almighty. Amen. Reverend, I want every one of us tonight to begin Thank to give glory to God Almighty you, for the successfulness of this program, My God. for the success Thank of our coming together, for yes. God teaching us new things. Let's begin to appreciate God. Let's begin Thank to you, worship. Let's begin to honor Him for the success of eyes coming together. For the service is already a success. For God Almighty has done it. Thank you for the grace. We glorify We worship all the things of our life. We are God. 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 We are the work that the people that are putting this program together are doing is not an easy job at all. Mm -hmm. From the minister part, the coordinator, the apostle, it's not that easy to gather people. But the grace of God has been operating in their lives. Mm -hmm. The Bible says something in Proverbs 11, verse 25. It says, a liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that water it shall be water also. I want us to begin to thank God for their lives. Thank for you. God using them for his glory. I want thank every you. one of us to begin to thank God for their lives. Thank for you. God using them for his glory. Let's thank begin you. to worship and adore God. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we worship you, we adore you for your oracle that you are using to bring us together, to lift up our spirits in the name of Jesus. Blessed and honored to your name, Lord. Thank you, almighty heavenly Father. For your divine visitation in their lives. Oh Lord, thank you for increasing them, oh Lord. Thank you for the grace you have bestowed upon their life. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty God. Thank you, Father. The God that can do what no man can do. Yes. The God of yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, Lord. Blessed and honored to your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we Amen. thank you for what you have done in our midst tonight. Oh, we thank you for what you have said to you. Blessed and honored to your name. Yes. Father, we thank you Amen. because we know as from today our life will not remain the same. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Lord Amen. God, we commit ourselves unto your heaven and so Lord. It was only an encounter that Peter had with Jesus in Luke chapter 5. 
when you step into his boat mm. and his life turn around. Yes. Lord, we commit ourselves unto your hands, O Lord. Step mm -hmm. into our boat and let there be divine turn around in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Amen. Lord, as we go tonight, go before us in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Lord, expand Amen. this ministry in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your will be done. Amen. Remove every obstacle in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for the grace, the grace for every one of us to do exploits, the grace to do wonders, the grace to do things that can never be healed. Let that grace of God be upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, as we have given our time to gather before you, in the name of Jesus, let there be open level in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that you are using in this platform, Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. that you will visit them abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Holy Spirit. Bless it and honor to your name. Thank you for Amen. the process of the program. Lord, we commit every other program that will be coming up onto your hands. Holy Spirit, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. In Amen. Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Can we share the grace? The grace. And the grace of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, Lord, our goodness and mercy shall follow us. Oh, no. All the days of our lives, and we and shall be in the house of the Lord, Lord forever, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.